Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters I hope you are well We see on the news now and then that the majority of a country is oppressing its minority We also see that the ruler of a particular country is cracking down on its people who are raising their voices against his unacceptable actions But do you know that throughout history numerous examples demonstrate the eventual downfall of unjust majority rule We are already aware of the plight of the Uyghur Muslims in China how they are subjugated and held captive in their so-called training camps now again the government of china is trying to suppress the muslims in yet another muslim majority region the chinese government personnel have issued a notice to demolish a centuries old mosque that is of great importance to ethnic hui muslims in yunnan province over the weekend there were confrontations between the police and residents of yunnan province the residents were attempting to prevent the demolition of a domed roof that had stood for centuries in a local mosque this incident is indicative of the chinese communist party's increasing involvement in regulating religious practices as part of their broader agenda dozens of officers in riot gear beat back a crowd as they pushed towards the gate of the najaing mosque according to videos sent to overseas activists Subsequent videos revealed that the police had withdrawn from the vicinity allowing the demonstrators to conduct a peaceful sit-in outside the gate which persisted throughout the night. Another video showed the arrival of several dozen camouflaged officers from the armed police next day. The local authorities in Tongai County described the incident as being seriously detrimental to maintaining social order. and issued a statement encouraging all individuals involved to voluntarily turn themselves in to law enforcement before June 6 they emphasized that doing so may result in a more lenient punishment being considered indicating that those involved in clashes with the police will be dealt with severely in recent years china has already seen such episodes of torture and crackdowns on dissent among muslims in xinjiang which was home to millions of vegan muslims Estimates of the number of mosques and shrines destroyed in the region reach into the thousands. Now they are targeting other Muslim majority regions of China. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in the Quran, "Indeed, the unjust will not be successful. If the Chinese government or the government of any other country is oppressing the minorities of the region, then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will not let them succeed. Those who commit zulm will never thrive." This is an assurance from Allah Azza wa Jal signifying that they will not attain genuine success in this worldly life additionally they will face the repercussions of their actions in the hereafter hence they will experience defeat in both realms both in this world and the afterlife demolishing and destroying places of worship where Allah's name is taken is not a light act in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran who does more wrong than those who prevent Allah's name from being mentioned in his places of worship and strive to destroy them such people have no right to enter these places except with fear for them there is disgrace in this world and they will suffer a tremendous punishment in the hereafter may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard our chinese muslim brothers and sisters from the injustice of the government May Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala help our Muslim brothers and sisters facing oppression. Amen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum.